Thank you very much for uh, uh, rejoining us. We were just uh, talking about astrology and um, uh, Steve, Andy and, and Fred have just been uh, talking about the fact that they don't really believe in it and I know I certainly don't believe in it and I think that you just proved a great mm. thing that that could have fitted or some of that could have fitted anyone. Mm. It's the Barnum statements you mentioned earlier which we, we've, we've spoken about before when we talk about fake mediums about the, you know, there's Barnum statements you can say to anyone. In fact, mm. that would make a very good Barnum statement yeah. for a fake medium to give to somebody because mm. if someone said that to me, mm. I think yeah. hey, you are pretty good. Yeah, mm. it's it's, it's good all down to how far you really want to go with the subject. I mean, in, in sort of in the pretense of being psychic, um, you can take it one next level. You can actually learn about characteristics, behavior, language, stance, attitude, the way you sat at the moment, the way people blink, the oscillation of the of the pupil of the eye because that changes depending on what you're saying. Mm. People can read that. It's like Darren Brown, isn't it? It's like Darren Brown. It's like looking like, at yeah, yeah. the number. Um, you can even go through <laughs> um, psychoanalysis. You know, that is really precise in regards to um, identifying how people are without you don't even have to speak. But it's funny, like Darren Brown was, was, was funny. I, 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 I'm, I'm a huge fan of Darren Brown. I, yeah, I yeah, think, his, I think his stuff he does is, is superb. Because he was really the first person to, to, to get across to people how simple it is. To dupe someone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, do you remember you did the seance thing? And I, yeah. I, 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 I looked at that and, and my, from home thinking, you're not going to dupe me, you're just not. Mm -hmm. And I went with everyone else. I saw the same thing as everyone else. I got the same person as everyone else. It's so clever. And that kind of proves that we're fairly easy to manipulate to a point. We did it with table tipping as well, didn't we? On yeah, I didn't see the table show. tipping thing. Because to be honest, we went, I went watching him with some friends. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Honestly, I walked out, but apparently that was probably was all subliminal messaging throughout the show. But when I walked out at the end, I was like, I know it was great, but what happened? But anyway, so I not remember the table tip, because it worked on me, mate. Maybe it was just, you know, successful, I don't think it was. But I've seen films like that, where I've started and it's ended in on what? Yeah, um, Debbie does Dallas and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, sorry. but yeah, yeah, apparently I had one person on the table, and he was actually lifting the table and he was going crazy with it. And, but it was all it was all suggestion. They all yeah. create, made him do it. You know. But this is that whole point with, with the you know if you go to and let's face it if you go for a tarot reading, okay, mm -hmm. and you are already believing that there is a possibility that person is going to tell you what they and let's mm -hmm. face it tarot cards as he, every tarot reader will tell you is, is interpretation of what they see. Mm -hmm. And in, the one big problem with interpretation is it's quite often wrong. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so what they see is something when it's connected to another card, they can be completely wrong. And yeah, you can point. find a lot of people that do it are in a very desperate time in their life as well. Yeah. You know, say maybe they've lost somebody, maybe um, you know they've got no job, they're a single mum, they're making no money, they're desperate, they don't know what to do. I mean, you know, I, I want someone to, I want someone to tell yeah, me something. They, 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 okay. they want to hear something nice. Something exactly. To make them well, yeah, better, yeah. yeah the, I mean, the most prolific. Probably one in this culture was Doris Stokes, most well known. Mm. Doris, yeah. However, when he actually did the research, he found that uh, her entourage, there was an incident where her entourage, well, because they were going from literally city to city around the country doing, doing these shows, um, they would look through the obituaries and find people that have recently passed away. Didn't she admit to this? Yeah, she did. And she actually, um, somebody had contacted um, a woman who had recently lost a son who drowned. And said, um, Dolly Stokes is in town, my love, she says, and she has a message from your son who passed away recently. Um, and if you'd like to attend, she says, Well, give me the message, she said. She said, Oh, no, you must attend. Uh, you know, uh, Doris will give you the message there, but she's dead, she's getting it very strong. And can you wear something where we can identify where we are? Because Doris needs to see where you're going to be sat in the crowd. If you can wear something like a red top or something, she'll know. So, of course, this woman goes along. And when things start to go a bit of a lull in that evening session, when she's talking to these people at this show, she will suddenly burst into life and say, I'm getting this person who drowned. Um, and uh, it was this woman over here, wasn't it? And, of course, the woman in the red would say, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the information that she would give this woman is what was already in the obituary and what was already known in the media anyway. Awful. But for the other 65 people sat there, it was phenomenal. Mm. Oh, absolutely. You see, so yeah. you can well imagine how, progress, how progressive and how good that worked. But that is the fakery of mediumship. That's the cleverness, the cleverness it is. of that it's fakery a technique. of con artistry. Yeah. And, and there's this point, I know with, with, with Doris Stoke, there's still people who 
you know, who believe that, I know she admitted doing that, but did she admit it because she was caught out? I think yes. I think so. And you know, I don't think she would admit it had she not been caught out, which, mm-hmm. you know, and, and then you have to think to yourself is how far back does that go and how far forward does well, it still it, go? As, as far as I'm concerned, from a scientist's point of view, it's by a straight away, so none of the information so is wanted. But does it, not, does it not sort of take away you know, all the books that she, she'd written and all, all the good that she kind of built up beforehand? It makes you think, well, how much of that is fake? Yeah. And it's like with these, these, these um, tarot, it's probably Doris now from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> <trying to> say, <laughs> no! Um, <laughs> Doris Stokes had a great reputation, didn't she? But that brings on some of the modern mediums today that are doing the same thing and ruining people's lives. You know, there's, uh, but but <coughs> the point is, 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 is these people are coming in and paying stuff to watch a yeah. medium on stage. Mm. They should be given fair, um, mm. fair trade for that money. Mm. They are not. You know, these people are fraudulently given... Some, mm. I mean, I've got to say, if, if someone had done that to me, I would have stood up and said, I gave you this information you mm. know, to whoever on the phone.